Owen Kamai here from MLive.com. Lions have a uh, interesting battle this week at Ford Field. They're hosting Washington, another NFC uh, NFC playoff contender. Uh, it's the third week in a row, Philadelphia and LA. Lions won both those games, and, and it kind of has uh, righted a season that looked like it was going very wrong for the Lions just a couple weeks ago. But they win those games, both on fourth quarter comebacks, and the Lions are right back in the thick of it uh, and can hold a, yet another tiebreaker against a yet another playoff contender with a win against Washington. I, I do see this as a very difficult opportunity for, for, for the Lions to, to, to win, though. It's just a poor matchup, I think. You know, Matthew Stafford's playing well, right? And, and they can win any game uh, where he's on fire. We've seen that the past couple of weeks. But the defense is so bad. The margin of error is so slim for the offense. And uh, that's, a, that's a tough way to live. And uh, it's, go, it's, it's going right right now for the Lions. Uh, and they might they're getting back to Wayne Washington this week. That will help them. Uh, Washington dealing with a couple of injuries. I think that'll help them as well. But the problem is the Lions defense uh, it sucks. It, 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 it's bad against the run. It's one of the worst in the league. It's bad against the pass, allowing both the six most six most yards per rush, six most yards per pass. They are stopping nobody. The linebackers are a train wreck. DeAndre Levy is not walking through that door this week, uh, and I think I think that will continue to be a problem against the Washington offense. It might be the most balanced offense the Lions face this year. They're averaging uh, the second most yards per play. Uh, Kirk Cousins is playing exceptionally well right now. Quarterback, he, he, you know, he's not lighting up the league per se, but he's not making mistakes either. Eight touchdowns, one pick uh, during their current four-game four winning streak. This team is hot. Cousins is playing well. They're tough to beat when he's doing that, especially if Deshaun Jackson plays. And people I've talked to in, in Washington expect him to play. That'll be a problem for a line secondary that has been torn apart the past couple of weeks. Just last week, Case Keenum, 19 straight completions, uh, you know, about 90% completion rate for that game. Uh, and it's because the the, you know, the, line, the linebackers and ability to cover, just not enough pass rush. Um, if the Lions win this game, I think they need a big game from, from Ziggy Ansah because that pass rush has been, and it continues to be one of the worst in the league. And even when Ansah came back last week, one tackle just wasn't very good. If they don't get pressure on Cousins, he's not going to make mistakes. And if they don't make mistakes, Washington's going to rack up some long drives in this game and really take it to the Detroit, Detroit defense. Uh, that, that unit is not playing well, and I think this matchup – with what with what Washington can present, both in that in that rushing game with Matt Jones and in the passing game, would be too much for the Lions to overcome, even with Matthew Stafford and the offense playing so well. I got this game at Washington 30, Lions 27.